Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded October 20th, 2015. I'm Aaron Lyons, and today we're going to be talking about the E-Trade breach disclosure, China still hacking the U.S., cyber assurance, and more. Today's episode is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in pen testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. And by Cyberry. Get the latest hacking and security training from Cyberry.it. Visit hacknaked.tv forward slash Cyberry for a referral link for you, our listeners. E-Trade was hacked back in 2013. At the time, they did not think any customer data had been accessed. Uh, it wasn't until just recently that they were informed by law enforcement that cu their customer data was being traded on the dark web. So they have notified 31,000 customers that their contact information has been accessed. That's two years later that they're notifying their customers. Go E-Trade. Uh, also in the news, Kali 1.0. If you're like me and a holdout, still using your old Kali 1.0 install because it worked, uh, the repositories have been purged. It's end of life. It's time to point your repositories to the new Kali 2.0 repositories if you want to get updates for any of your tools. Uh, Link in our show notes show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Edit your repositories configuration to point to the new ones. Nothing crazy. A new trove of government documents has been leaked. Uh, this one is centering around the U.S. government's drone program. And we have a link to those papers uh, that were have been released by The Intercept. And they include such pearls as during one period, 90% of the U.S. drone killings um, didn't hit the intended target. How's that for accuracy? So 90% missed their target killing someone else. Sounds, sounds like a good program to me. On to cyber insurance, everyone's favorite topic. Not really. In the past year, we've had record numbers of breaches, and cyber insurance rates have surged to th surge 32% in response. Uh, some insurance agencies have limited coverage to $100 million in cases. So we're seeing uh, cyber insurance not paying out recently, rates increasing, and the limits and limits being put on and how much they're going to pay out. Sounding less and less like a good idea. Maybe we should be spending that money on improving our security instead of getting payouts when we it breaks or when we get breached. So we covered this a while ago, um, the recent agreement between China and the U.S., and the agreement was not to hack uh, for economic gain. Oh, and what did I say? Hacking was still going to happen, and it's being reported that, oh, guess what? China's still hacking the U.S. Told you so. Nothing changed. More political maneuvering between the countries, and everything stays the same. I'm sure we're still hacking China. I'm sure that we're not... We just didn't pack up and go home. Also, uh, in related news, the U.S., uh, for the first time, is charging a hacker with uh, espionage or providing information to the enemy, in addition to the hacking charges. Uh, the data was originally stolen from an unnamed U.S. retailer, and it contained PII for about 100,000 people. And this included the details for around 1,300 U.S. military and government personnel. The hacker, uh, Ferrazi, a.k.a. the Director Y, um, is, who is believed to be the leader of the Kosovo Hackers, Kosovo, Kosovo Hackers Security, I'll get that right one of these times, um, and he's currently awaiting extradition in Malaysia. He took the data that he had gotten from this hack and provided the details for the military personnel to the Islamic State. Everyone's favorite, um, oh, it depends on who you talk to, government or terrorist organization. 
and current uh, number one target for the U.S. We'll try to keep an eye on that and see if anything new comes of that story. That's it for today, and we'll talk to you again next week.